Hello and welcome to the Lammas. I am Tim Abbott from Kershaw's Prime. Autumn is well and truly upon us. And today we have got a fabulous house in the heart of Isha. This period property has got a wealth of features and an incredible heritage behind it. And to do things slightly differently, we have the owner on hand to tell us all about what they have created here. Hi, my name's Sheila um, Pisser, I'm married to Ian, and we were looking within a radius of London that was commutable. And I found this house, the Lammas, in Isha, and I just jumped out of my chair and said, that's it, that's the one. It was very derelict, but you could see the potential, you could see the high ceilings, and you could see that it was in a bad way. But to me, as an interior designer, that was the potential I wanted. I wanted to see how we could transform this place. It has been a labor of love. We didn't know when we bought it, but it's a listed building, grade two listed, star. So what we tried to do was as little damage to the material of the property as possible. This front part is Georgian, built in about 1740, we think. And then subsequently the Victorians added on at the back, and then they added on the two wings, which are now separate homes. And in the First World War, it was used as a Red Cross hospital. And then it was a school, Downhouse School. And so it's had a very rich history. We've managed to do it in a very sympathetic way, I think. We have added the, the ceiling roses and the cornices. We've added skirting boards where, where they were missing. We've brought back the, the original wood floors on the Georgian side, which are these extra wide planks. R removing a, a, a bathroom that was on the landing that made it feel very cramped. And we've added two modern bathrooms on the first floor and then one in the attic. We were able to lift the height of the ceilings in the attic. When we first walked in, you couldn't stand up in the attic and we needed to get that back to being useful. The only big opening we did was in the kitchen to open up the kitchen through to the family room to create a sort of open plan living space so that it, that, you know, it's, it's modern, but it's functional. My husband was adamant that the basement would be a media room and a, and a useful space. And to his credit, he's achieved that, I think, enormously well. He's built a sort of man cave there with a wine tasting whiskey bar area and then the media room. And I think that's useful perhaps for children, you know, playing video games, whatever. It's a room you can put the kids in, they're safe, they can make a noise. It's pretty well insulated and it's heated. You know, they built solid walls back then and it's warm and it's cool in the summer as well. So it kind of regulates itself, which is one of the great things of an old building. They knew what they were doing. Of course, I love the house even more <laughs> that it's finished and it's beautiful and it's calm. So I suppose because we knew it was a project, we've come to the point where it's immaculate now. Let's hand it on to a family who want to live in it and, and, and enjoy it for, for a longer period. So yeah, that's, that's our journey. The owners really have executed a fabulous renovation blending the rich heritage of the building with contemporary design throughout. One of the great features of this house really is its location. You're here in the heart of Isha with all of your local amenities right on your doorstep. For more information about the Lammas or any of our other prime properties or services, please get in contact with me, Tim Abbott at Kershaw's Prime.